Hello everyone, Counselor Hater here, back with another EH guide. Uh, before we get into the, into today's video, real quickly, uh, I just want to say uh, the Million Mile 2022 is coming to a close uh, within like four days. Um, so I'll have the link in the description to this so you can do what you can while you still can. Uh, I believe even though the Million Mile may uh, not be available, you can probably still go like go to shop, uh, monthly giving and stuff. Um, I have, obviously, and there's more information down here. So if you want more information on like how you can help, uh, Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer, fight against childhood cancer and uh, find a possible way to cure it. Uh, just copy and paste the uh, link I have in I will have in the description into your search bar slash browser bar and hit enter and it'll bring you to this site. With that said, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to the 74 of you who are currently subscribed. Keep that subscriber count going up, everybody. Um, I want to uh, maybe hit like 100 subs before like hmm, my before like uh, November. Um, but, uh, and I want to keep going. So uh, yeah, just subscribe, comment on this video, make an EDH request, uh, share this video along with other videos on my channel, by all means, and also share that link. And uh, hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss another one of my videos. With that said, let's get into this commander. Sign in both tech Stormlord. So this is kind of a uh, artifact matters graveyard deck. Uh, and and this commander wants artifact cards to be leaving your graveyard, not to be entering your graveyard, but to be leaving them, leaving your graveyard, and it'll create you tokens in turn. Or I mean, sure, second text. Is useful, but we're really here for this first uh, first text bar. So we've got like stuff that can exile itself and or uh, other artifacts from our graveyard, and then just artifact creatures that we want. Fire action in Trader form has an encore, so it can exile itself, and then it'll create a bunch of tokens. Biotransference. Um, so it makes all of our creatures artifacts in addition to their uh, other types. The same is true for creature spells, we control and creature cards we own that aren't on the battlefield. So in exile and in our graveyard, and as we cast more and more artifact spells, we'll sure we'll lose life, but we will also create more and more 2 2 black Necron warrior artifact creature tokens. Sazerac, Silent King, to get stuff into our graveyard, and it will trigger our commander because we also return a. Uh, we put because we also put an artifact creature card or a vehicle card from among the cards milled, uh, milled with said with the silent king here, uh, into our hand and and here, the traveler. Um, when it attacks, we can cast a spell, an artifact spell from our hand or from our graveyard, uh, or prefer preferably. Preferably from our graveyard, so we can draw off our commander uh, by paying life equal to its mana cost rather than uh, mana value or mana cost, rather, or rather than paying its mana cost. Salvage Titan can get itself back into our hand, so that'll trigger our commander. And to do that, we also have to exile three artifact cards from our graveyard, so that will, on its own, will trigger. So the activation of Salvage Titan. We'll trigger our commander because we're exiling artifact cards, and then if and then the effect of that activated ability will also trigger off emote tech, the storm lord, and we can sacrifice artifacts rather than pay the spells mana cost, so we're able to get artifacts into our graveyard. Containment construct, um, so we discard something that becomes exiled, and then we can play that card this turn. And it did go into our graveyard at one point, and it was in our graveyard at one point. 
And then we, with the containment construct, we exiled it, triggering our commander, and we're able to play that card. There's his tome, plus his draw, and discard to fill up a graveyard, or exile his historic card from our graveyard, and artifacts is, and artifacts are his historic cards. So that would also count. Relic of Progenitus, uh, can get rid of everything from all graveyards and draws a card, or just uh, exile singular cards. Which is what we want. God Pharaoh's gift gives us four fours and exiles creature cards from our graveyard. So we want our fair creature cards in our graveyard. Get to the afterlife, combine God Pharaoh's uh, gift and allows us to fill up our graveyard by having us discard cards uh, and draw cards and also gain life whenever non filling creature we control dies. Mimic that is great because. A non-token creature we control, a non-token creature we control die. Well, or just a non-token creature in general dies. We can exile that card. And if we do, we turn each other card exile to mimic back, mimic that to its own graveyard. So we have an artifact creature, it dies, we exile it with it went to our graveyard. We then exile it with mimic that so then it trigger off our commander. And we'd be able to create tokens that are cop that are copies of the exile card of the card exile with mimic mimic that. And they would gain haste, but they'd be exiled at the beginning of the next instant. So a good way to trigger out for commander get, still get some value. McKay is the unheld. So you want to have artifact creatures, uh, not just have like, you know, biotransference uh, and be depending on that. So have a bunch of artifact creatures because McKay is the unheld here. It gives non-human creatures you control plus one plus one and undying, which means they'll enter our graveyard, then I'll, they'll leave our graveyard as soon as they enter it. So trigger off our commander again. Um because of undying. Nightmare Shepherd does the same thing except it also creates tokens that are copies. Um so what we do is with the Nikaeus, we have them die first, undying triggers, it brings the artifact creature back. The artifact creature with the plus a plus a counter on it now dies. Then we exile it from our graveyard and and we create a token that's a copy of it with Nightmare Shepherd. Well, the bat there, uh, off of that one singular non-token creature, we've already gotten our commander to activate uh, to trigger off two times, giving us four two twos. Uh, and we still kept the artifact creature that died. Soul Separator. Um, an exile a singular card from our graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, and then also create a zombie which has power toughness equal to that exiled card. I like Nightmare Shepherd, but not as good. Shielded Whispering One can get our back creature card back from our graveyard onto our battlefield. Um, can get our back creature cards from our graveyard back onto our battlefield under our control. It forces our opponents to sacrifice uh, a creature at the beginning of their upkeep. Um, so it's Shieldred before we even do anything. Well, again, we'll get a trigger. We'll get our commander to trigger if we return an artifact creature. Flip of Erebos can also do that. Um, and if we end up sacrificing the creature before it is exiled at the beginning of the next end step, it would end the graveyard and then be immediately exiled. No, it just straight up be exiled, I think. Dull House of Horrors can do the same thing. Uh, kind of like Nightmare Shepherd. Except maybe only once per turn. Um, you exile a creature card from your graveyard, so obviously you want to be exiling artifact creatures. Then you're creating tokens that are copies of them. And they gain haste as well. And they also get buffed up as you uh, put out more and more constructs, so keep that in mind. Scrap Trawler is a great card. Definitely highly recommend for this deck. Because whenever this or another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you return to your hand, target, excuse me, target artifact card in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cards. So an artifact creature we control dies, we get some. We get, we can get another artifact or artifact creature, most likely 
back from our graveyard into our hand. Our commander will trigger. You get the point. Zombie infestation to help fill up our graveyard. The cauldron of eternity can get stuff back from our graveyard. And it'll cost two generic less to cast for each creature card in our graveyard. And whenever a creature with control dies, uh, we put it on the bottom of its owner's library. So it will go into the graveyard, but then it'll immediately go uh, uh, on the bottom of, uh, of the owner's library. So creature we own, uh, an offer creature we own dies. It goes to the graveyard, but then it goes straight to the bottom of our library. So then our commander triggers. And we can also use Cauldron of Eternity to reanimate our artifact creatures. Myora, Myora, Herborg Haunt. Um, can get something back from our graveyard that has that was put there this turn. Scarecrow can get an artifact creature card back, an artifact creature card back from our graveyard onto the battlefield. Metal or Colossus can return itself and sacrifice two artifacts in the process to do that. So fill up the graveyard. Great. Recurring Nightmare. This is actually involved in an infinite combo. Sacrifice a creature to return Recurring Nightmare to its owner's hand, then return target creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield. So with this, we have Ashnod's Altar. So what we do is we have our commander, we have Recurring Nightmare, and then we also have Chromatic Ori. So... We sacrifice a creature. More specifically, we want to be sacrificed some artifact creatures. And then we return recurring nightmare to our hand. And then, but we also reanimate an artifact creature card in our graveyard. Then our commander triggers off and it creates the two tokens. And then we also have our artifact creature. So with Ashton's Altar, we sacrifice the two tokens that were, that were created. And then because of Chromatic Ori, we are able to play out Recurring Nightmare again and repeat and repeat this process over and over again, sacrificing the creature that we, returning the creature that we sacrificed with Recurring Nightmare uh, for infinite value and possibly infinite other things such as uh, not infinite, well, my, not inf not going infinite micro synth column, but still infinity for artifacts and artifact creature spells you play have infinity for artifacts. Highly recommend this. This is why I highly recommend you also do like artifact creature style for this deck because as you create more and more tokens with your commander, they are artifact creatures, so they will count towards infinity for artifacts. Metal worker doesn't go infinite, doesn't go with this combo either, but. You can get a lot of mana out of it. Torm out the Desecrator, however, will. So you add this into the ad, infinite combo. Now I've got infinite tapped tutus. They can also be sacrificed to Ashton's Altar for infinite mana as well. Uh, so like, but also could be infinite token creation. Sir Conrad the Grim uh, for infinite damage. Desecrated Tomb for infinite 1 1 flyers. Steel Overseer, not infinite buff, buff ups, but uh, can buff up our entire army if we just tap it and we are playing artifact creatures. Shambling Suit will, could possibly get infinitely big with this combo if we keep around the Ekron artifact uh, creature tokens. Triplicate. Triplicate Titan create us infinite three threes with uh with fl with flying results and trample uh, for every time it dies creates us three three threes one of them with flying another with vigilance the other with trample Noxious Gear Hulk is just a board wipe for this infinite combo and infinite life gain. Shimmer Mirror allows us to play our artifact spells as though they had flash. Ancient Stone Idol. If now this is dying, so we're getting infinite 612 uh, construct artifact tokens with trample. 
Mirror of Battle Spheres, Infinite Mirrors, Arcbound Ravager is infinite plus one plus one encounters because of modular one. Solemn Malacrum gets us out our entire uh our entire land base of uh, basic lands and can, and can also be infinite card draw that we can actually uh stop because we decide whether or not we draw a card. Worm coil engine is infinite three threes. One with Death Touch, one the other with Lifelink, and we get infinite of those. Necron Overlord, if we create infinite artifacts or tokens with this combo, then at the end, we can use Necron Overlord to wipe out someone. Mishira's Self-Replicator, with this infinite mana, we can have infinite uh, copies of Mishira's Self-Replicator. Cogwork Assembler is just infinite copies Infinite tokens that are copies of target artifact. And those tokens gain haste. So that means we could have a hasty arm, a hasty army of 12, 12 ancient stone idols with trample and haste. Not to mention ancient stone idol has flash and it costs one less for each attacking creature. Or that and that could also be. So, and then there's like creatures you would involve in the infinite combo. So, like, you didn't have any of this. And you so say, like, Meteor Golem. So, in this infinite combo, we are sacrificing Meteor Golem. We don't have anything else. So, we have Meteor Golem, Chromatic Ori, Echelon's Altar, Reoccurring Nightmare, and our Commander. That will be the infinite combo. So, that'd be infinite uh, non land permanent destruction. Because of Meteor Golem's ETB effect, destroying target non land permanent and opponent controls when it enters the battlefield, and we'll be able to do this infinitely because of the combo. Because it's infinite. Dark Seal Forge, artifacts you control, indestructible. Then the most evil for this, Sundering Titan. Yes, infinite land destruction. If you pull this combo off, you are the personification of all things true evil. Pan Harmonicon, double up on uh, on these uh, ETB triggers. And Aetherworks Marvel says so more and more permanents. We control up, we control up being put into our graveyard. We're getting more and more energy counters, which we can use to look at the top, which we can use to eventually tap this and look at the top six cards of our library and cast a card from among them without paying its mana cost. Then we got Fire Rexian Tower, get more creatures into our graveyard, more artifact creatures specifically into our graveyard by sacrificing them. Below our stronghold, put more artifact creature cards on top of our library, trigger off our commander. Heaven's Full Lavatory, create us some uh, clue tokens. Heaven's Full Mystery, uh, can get something back from our graveyard. Creeping in exile stuff from our graveyard and can help us gain life and sacrifices creatures in order to transform and can phase itself out. Cabal Stronghold and Cabal Coffers for a bunch of mana. Nick those trying to nix because we're mono black. And then the rest is basic swamps. And with that said, that is the commander guide starring in Motec Stormlord. Copy and paste the dog. The link into your search bar slash browser bar to help Alex's Lemonade Stand uh, Foundation for Childhood Cancer fight against uh, childhood cancer and participate in the Million Mile 2022 while you still can. Like I said, more information. I'm going to get this out as probably as soon as possible. Um, to help others. And with that said, Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment on this video. You can make an EDH request. And as long as like the style of the deck hasn't been featured or the commander itself has not already been featured on this channel, you're good to go. Uh, or make requests for like other contents like MTG Arena or like standard decks. That is perfectly fine too. Um, so like for example, Rambos and Jamins, you can make that request. And uh, 
even if you don't want to make a request. Kind of anyways, I like the positive feedback from you guys. And um, share this video along with other videos now on my channel, especially this one and others that have the link so that you, you can have others help. Alex's Lemonade Stand for Foundation for Childhood Cancer, Fight Against Childhood Cancer, and even possibly cure it. Uh, there are many ways to help. Just go, just get to the website by copy and pasting the link I have. I'll have in the description into your uh, search bar and hitting enter. Then um, the notification bell. That way you don't miss another one of my videos. And that will be it. Keep it up, guys. And I'll see you later.